In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Google form. So let's get started. First, just open up your browser on your laptop and then search for forms.google.com. So this is the website you'll have to search for and just make sure that you've signed in with your Google account and you'll find that on the top right over here. So once this is done, we have to decide one thing. If we want to create our form from scratch or they have some templates which you can go through. So to see the templates, just click on template gallery that's here. So these are all of the forms which you can use as a template and further edit it and customize it. So you can go through this. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a form from scratch. So I'm going to select blank form, which is over here. So now it's taken us to a blank form and we can start creating a form from this page. The first thing which I always do is add a title to this form. So as you can see, untitled form is written here. So I'll just click on this and now I'll change the title. So now I've added the title and if I want to add a description, I can do that as well over here. So now I'm going to show you how to add questions to your form. As you can see, we have one question that's already here. So if I click on this, then I get more options. So the first thing, I can enter my question over here. So I'll just select untitled question and type in the first question I want to ask. So first, I'll just ask name. And as soon as I type that, as you can see, this changed to short answer. So if you click on this box over here, these are all of the answers which you'll expect from the user. So since we're asking the name, we'll want a short answer. But you have many other options like multiple choice, check boxes, and a lot more. So usually, Google Forms can automatically understand what type of answer you're expecting. But if you want to change it, then you can just click on this box and select any option from here. After that, we can decide if we want to make this question required. As you can see, there's this bar over here. And if I click on it, now this question has become required. So this means that a person must answer this question in order to submit the form. After that, you have more options for each question, like adding an image or adding a description and a lot more options. But I won't get into those details right now. So I'll show you how to add more questions. For that, just click on the plus button that's over here. And as soon as I clicked it, as you can see, it opened up one more question tab. And here again, I can enter my question. So now I'll ask if you're above 18. And as you can see, the type of question automatically changed to multiple choice. And then we can add the options below over here. So they have suggestions, which are yes, no. And if you want to add your own, you can just click on add option that's here and then type in the third option that you want. So I'll remove this for now. And again, you can make this question required. So I'll quickly show you one more question type. I'll click on the plus button that's here. And now I'll say comments. And now the type of answer has changed to paragraph, since we'll expect a longer answer from the user. So now you have to keep following this process of adding questions. And once you're done, then I'll show you a few more things that you can do. So if you want to reorder your questions, you can do that as well. It's just drag and drop. So if you select a question that you want to reorder, then you'll find these six dots on top. And if you just click on it. As you can see, you can move it around. So I can make this the third question and it's changed. So now, if you think your form is ready and you've added all of your questions, then we can see how it looks. You can just click on this eye icon on the top right, which is to preview your form. And when I click on it, this is what a user will see when they click on my forms link. They'll get these three questions in this order. And as you can see, there's an asterisk next to the questions, which means that they're required questions. So based on this, if you want to make changes, you can just go back and make those changes in this form. So now that our form is ready, there's only one thing left to do, and that's share the form with others. So we can do that by clicking on send that's on the top right over here. So if I click on it, then here, as you can see, we have different options to send this form. If you want to email it to people, then just click on this option that's here. Then we can enter the email IDs, the subject and a message. After that, you can share this as a link as well. And this is my personal favorite method. 
So select the second option that's here and here we've got a URL to this form. So you can shorten it by clicking on shorten URL and now we can just click on control C to copy this. So now we can share this link with others and if they click on it, they'll be allowed to submit the form. Then they have options like sharing it on Facebook and Twitter. So you can go through that as well. So those were the ways to share the form. And now the last thing is checking the responses. So if you click on the responses tab, which is over here, then you get different ways to view the responses. You can get a summary, question by question, or individually see how people responded. But I've made a detailed video on how to check the responses. So you can just check that out by clicking on the top right. So that's it for this video. So if you want to know how to make a Google form quiz or different ways to see the responses, then you can check out these two videos over here. That's it for today. Goodbye.